Wildland firefighting can be a dangerous job. Options are often limited and decisions must be made quickly. Once the call comes in, all attention must focus on tactics and strategies and making sure everyone comes home safe at the end of the day. The scenario we just saw is all too familiar to many firefighters. Every fire unit has high-risk, fire-prone areas that present a huge challenge, especially when conditions are extreme. Managing risk can be difficult in this environment, but what if some of the risk could be reduced before there was smoke in the air? As a firefighter, ask yourself these questions. What is it about these areas that cause the concern? Fuel loadings? Values at risk? Human-caused ignitions? More importantly, what can be done about it? In this video, we will discuss actions that can be taken before the fire that can increase firefighter and public safety during the fire. There are several ways to reduce risk and exposure before the fire. This video will discuss three of them. Fuels management, community partnerships and education, and also fire prevention. Fuels management. Once you have worked with your local fuel specialist and identified the high-risk areas on your unit, ask these questions. Is my crew ready to fight fire in this environment? What kind of vegetation is present in these areas? What kind of fire behavior can we expect? Is my unit experiencing abnormal fuel loadings and conditions this year? Do we know where the fuel breaks are and how to effectively use them during a wildfire? What pre-fire actions would buy us the most during a wildfire? Reducing hazardous fuels is one of the many actions that can be taken before a fire. However, there may not be enough resources available to even treat the areas most at risk. That's where the public comes in. Community Partnerships and Education as more and more people move into wildland urban interface areas, cooperation and participation from the public becomes even more critical. As you look at the high-risk WUI areas on your unit, ask yourself these questions. Do homeowners understand what will likely happen in the event of a wildfire? Are these homes defendable? Is the community engaged and taking action? If not, what factors are standing in their way? Do they understand firewise building and landscaping concepts? Reaching out to high-risk communities on a regular basis can help build trust and relationships that can lead to action. When communicating with the public, it is important to have honest, open, two-way communication. And, above all, to listen and hear what the community cares about and answer questions they have about wildfires. When it comes to creating survivable space, many homeowners may think what they do won't matter in the face of a raging wildfire, when in fact, it's what matters most. Oftentimes, the public doesn't understand that there are simple and affordable steps they can take that will greatly reduce wildfire risk to their home. Now that we've discussed fuels management and community partnerships and education, let's move on to our next topic, fire prevention. When it comes to firefighter and public safety, there is probably no other program that decreases risk more than an effective prevention program. Every firefighter should be aware of the most common causes of wildfire in their area and be prepared with short and simple fire safety messages for the media and public. When working with your local prevention staff, ask these questions. Where and how are most fires starting on my unit? What groups of people are responsible and how do we reach them? What is causing the most damaging and costly fires that threaten high-risk areas? How can we reduce ignitions in these areas? 
Now that we have discussed fuels management, community partnerships and education, and prevention, let's touch on a couple basic tips for firefighters. During fire season, there can be multiple opportunities for fire personnel to deliver messages. In fact, the media and public often look to incident commanders and fire crew members for information and expertise, especially when there is an ongoing fire in the area. Is your crew prepared for these teachable moments with talking points and messages on ways to reduce fire risk? Operations is only one facet of fire management. It is important to become familiar with local and national initiatives that can educate the public on how to live compatibly with wildfire. National efforts include programs and concepts such as Fire Adapted Communities, FireWise, Living with Fire, Fire Safe Councils, and many more. The goal of these programs is the same, reducing risk before the fire season begins. Get involved and engaged in all aspects of fire management at your local unit. The public needs your expertise and it can enhance your career opportunities. Thanks for watching this short video and remember, reducing fire risk now increases everyone's safety later.